Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Exactly. It's because you're not subscribed. So you better fix that right now. Or we're gonna have to take you in. Um, obviously, the Apple Studio Display works with Windows. Like, uh, it, it probably would because, like, uh, in this day and age, <laughs> apparently, uh, people are buying uh, um, Apple accessories and then use it for um, Windows computers. So, yeah, like, you're, you're gonna have to. Uh, but there are limitations, and I feel like that's very interesting. Uh, we have to get into that. And um, Sharon is here to help us get into the limitations and what 9to5Mac is reporting here. Yes, I agree. Nice. I agree with myself Apple too. Apple Studio Display works with Windows, but there are limitations. Apple this week announced Studio Display, which features a 27-inch 5K panel combined with a camera, microphones, and speakers that work together when the user connects the display to a Mac. What about Windows? If for some reason you need to use Apple's $1,599 monitor with the Windows PC, you can, but there are some limitations. An Apple spokesperson told The Verge that Studio Display is identified as a regular display when plugged into a Windows PC via the Thunderbolt connection, which not every PC supports. That said, if you bought one of these to use it with Windows, there are a few things to keep in mind. According to Apple, users can even turn on the built-in 12-megapixel webcam in Windows apps, as well as the microphone and speakers. But there are some features that only work when Studio Display is connected to a Mac. Center Stage, a feature that centers the image on a person during a video call or video recording, is only available on MacOS. The same goes for spatial audio support with Dolby Atmos or the Hey Siri feature. So basically, in order to take advantage of all the features that Apple's Studio Display has, you need a Mac running macOS. So while you can use Studio Display with Windows, buying it for this purpose may not be a good idea. The company also notes that although the display has a 5K 60Hz panel, the resolution may vary depending on the computer. If your computer does not support 5K resolution, video output will be limited to 4K or less. The new studio display goes on sale on March 18th with prices starting at $1,599. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? So everything that is attached to... It makes sense, right? Because everything that's attached to the uh, silicon chip that's inside it, like center stage, like image processing, like video recording, uh, 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 and Hey Siri, for example. Oops. I hope I didn't activate anything at your side. Uh, but anything that, anything like hello, right? Um, <laughs> um, so basically in order to take advantage of that, you need like Mac OS to be running that because like, obviously it's an Apple Silicon chip. And, um, I mean, windows doesn't even support Apple Silicon chips officially. So anyways, let's keep pumping. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, we would buy a display for windows. Yeah. That's, I mean, like, I, I'm, I think you're, yeah. Like this display is obviously something that is just meant for you when you have the entire ecosystem from Apple, not something that you're going to buy just because you like the aesthetic, but some people do and then they buy it for the aesthetic and maybe they just, I don't know, they want to switch to Windows afterwards. I, there could be a plethora of reasons why you get yourself into a situation like this. Um, but uh no it's probably not it's not for uh, parallels so um the reason why it's not for parallels or bootcamp in general is uh, uh parallels is running inside mac os so mac os is still in control of the a13 chip so it uh, maybe the instance of windows wouldn't be able to use those features but like obviously if you still say hello right then uh, mac os will still be able to pick that up and 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 well, translate that to the display to understand what's going on. Same for special audio, uh, spatial audio. Um, and even in bootcamp, it does do the whole driver thing, right? And it, it puts all the drivers through. And uh, I feel like as long as you have a Mac, um, even if you're running Windows on top of it, if, if bootcamp is ever coming back, right? Um, you will probably be able to use those, um, those 
well, display features, I'm not sure. For probably not for uh if you're in bootcamp maybe that siri wouldn't work because like obviously that's like not something that windows supports but spatial audio i don't see any reason why it wouldn't because like if you have the drivers for it it probably would um so stuff like that maybe center stage yeah center stage is something that probably would yeah anything that requires an, an, an api that has to do with like the um a13 probably wouldn't work but spatial audio could work it could work I'm not sure if it will, but it could work, right? Uh, but in general, just in in parallels, probably this wouldn't even be anything that you have to think about. And in Bootcamp, I don't know, maybe. Um, but yeah, Apple could fix that in drivers, right? Um, anyways, let's keep pumping. We have 